what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Okay, we got a man identified as Mr. Yarborough. He's in court, location unknown. He's being charged with trespassing on property after warning. The man clearly has mental problems, but his lawyer, who, who has to be a court appointed lawyer, is standing by letting the man basically represent himself. The judge is talking and the lawyer says nothing. The man is standing there speaking for himself and he's talking about how he was kicked out of the Western Union because he was trying to send some money somewhere because he's an FBI agent. And they didn't believe him, so they kicked him off the property. The judge starts talking about how, you know, first of all, what his bond would be. The judge started off with 500, then he said, you know what, I'm gonna make it 100. I guess he realized that the man probably couldn't afford a uh, 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 $500 bond. So he made the bond a hundred bucks. The man was a little confused. He was like, well, you know, what kind of time you get with this? So the judge was like, well, you can get up to a year. And then the man was like, well, the judge mentioned a 100, but he was talking about the bond. It seemed like the man got a little caught up, not understanding, it. was he talking about giving me a hundred years? I can get a hundred years or a uh, or hundred uh, dollar bond. He was confused, I think. But the man said, give me a year in jail. The judge was like, man, I'm not gonna give you a year. I'm just telling you, you can get up to a year. He said, nah, give me a year. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, the dude finally walk off. And then the judge is talking to the attorney and said, hey, you know, are you gonna, you need to get this guy uh, a psychological evaluation. And the guy was like, the judge, I mean, the uh, lawyer is like, yeah, well, you know, the court can order uh, for him to do so at this time. This is why lawyers be getting their ass kicked in court. Because a lot of these lawyers just be selling their clients out sending them straight up the river without a paddle. This is one of the wackiest lawyers I've ever seen. Granted, the man has mental issues. The dude still could have injected himself and spoke up for his client. Tried to say something like that, hey, man, I'm ripping. He was just standing there the whole time like, you know, like he don't want to be there. I get it. You maybe you don't want to be there, but you at least show some interest. Like act like you're interested in representing your client. Yeah, this dude right here, he needs to be investigated. Cause I can bet you a dollar to a donut, he has gotten a whole bunch of people a lot more time than they could have gotten had they only represented themselves. And then you had, well, I'm gonna tell you what ran me hot. When the dude, when the video first starts, the dude is talking to a, an officer, a bailiff. And the other bailiff grabs him like this. It's a black woman. Grabs him by the shirt like this and pull him toward the uh, podium so he could talk to the judge. Instead of, instead of just saying, okay, Mr. Yarbrough, or, or, or giving him a signal or something. She just grabbed a guy and started, dude was like, man, get off. Don't be pulling on me, get off me. Like, was that really necessary? Okay, even if you was trying to be aggressive, you know, you grab a man, you know, maybe maybe like his, like by the arm or something like this and kind of like just give him a little nudge, but you don't grab somebody by their shirt and start pulling them like that. 
I mean, totally disrespectful. Sad part about it, man. It was a sister. Like, damn, man. I mean, I don't know, man. It just seemed like perhaps, you know, we can get a break if, it, you know, we can get into the system and get a few few that looks like us, you know, that, that look like us, you know, like, hey, we can get a little break, right? Just a little bitty, teeny weeny break. But no, she's handling the dude, you know, like he's some type of trash or something. I didn't like that at all. She needs to be dealt with. We got a major problem in this judicial system when it comes to treating people who have mental problems. It's way too many people in jail and in prisons when they should be in the hospital getting treatment. Like that dude shouldn't be in jail. I'm sure when they arrested him, he was tripping the whole time. And they could have easily said, look, I don't think we should be bringing him to jail. I think he needs to get, have a psychological evaluation. And that right there would have nipped it in the bud. Man, take this man to the hospital and get him some real treatment, some help. Why have that man going through the court system? It makes zero sense. But this is America. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.